Hello everyone, welcome to Registech. Myself Karthik Punnuswami. You are at the right place to learn in and out of Java concepts. If you guys are very new to our channel, please consider subscribe to it and don't miss to watch till the end of this video. In this video, we are going to learn about what is list iterator in Java and why do we need it and what are the different methods that we can use inside the list iterator and we are going to see a real time programming end of this video. Let's get started. So list iterator is an interface in Java. Basically it was introduced since JDK 1.2. So Oracle team introduced JDK 1.2 with this additional uh, interface. So why they have to introduce this additional interface? The reason behind that is there is some limitation in our previous uh, implementation, which is a iterator. So iterator is one of the uh, cursor concept, right? Basically where we can able to navigate inside the collection, but there is one limitation there. So the limitation is, you cannot able to go backwards so you can able to move only the forwards right so only from like you know you can able to navigate only the next element not like previous elements so in order to avoid this limitation so what they did is they introduced list iterator basically this is an interface where they have implemented some methods basically this is only for like you know list based classes but the only the disadvantage of uh, list iterator is that it can be used only for list based classes so how they implemented is so let's say I have array list L is equal to new array list of inside the array list I can able to add the elements right and then I can declare let's say list iterator L is equal to L dot iterator so with this one so I can able to get the list iterator um, you know um, actually it is not like I, L dot iterator it is L dot list iterator here also it should be L dot list iterator okay using this one I can able to get the list iterator uh, uh, object right using that one I can able to navigate forward right so forward means let's say the same like iterator has next next you can able to remove by using remove and also they have introduced one more method like next index if i want to get the next index of the next element then i can go for la dot next index of so this is all about like forward direction similarly they have introduced some methods specifically for backward direction if i want to navigate backwards so let's say la dot has previous so they have have like two terms right next and previous next means you are navigating in the forward direction Previous means you are navigating in the reverse direction. So li dot has next has previous of and also if you want to get the uh, previous element then I can use li dot previous of and similarly I can use remove and also I can get the index of the previous element with the help of li dot previous index of and similarly they have had couple of other methods like these are all like special methods inside list iterator. You can able to navigate and also you can able to add inside the collection with the help of add method and if you want to replace some object then you can you, you can go for set method so set is for replacing that object and add is for adding the new object and also they call list iterator as a bi-directional iteration because it can able to navigate either forward as well as backward so but the only disadvantage with list iterator is that it is mainly used only for list based classes you cannot use it for uh, universally like for all the other uh, remaining uh, collection framework classes so this is the beauty of list iterator i'm going to write a program i'm going to show you how we can able to use this list iterator to navigate the forward as well as backward here i have written a program to demonstrate the list iterator in java basically before we start i want to explain about the agenda of this program what we are trying to achieve basically we are going to see what is a cursor concept in java and we are going to see what is list iterator and why do we need to use list iterator and how to use it so we are going to see some of the methods inside the list iterator so in the list iterator is nothing but it's an interface in which extends inter iterator interface in our previous videos we have seen about what is iterator interface and what is enumeration so enumeration has some restrictions basically we can use only enumeration for only vector and in order to avoid that restriction so oracle team introduced iterator and that is a universal uh, cursor which we can use it for any type of uh, collection framework but they want some specific guy used to um, iterator for list uh, list interface so for that so what they did is they created another interface called list iterator basically this is a uh, another inter iterate uh, interface which actually extends I iterator interface it has been introduced in, since jdk 1.2 this is basically uh, to uh, come up with the idea of like you know uh, going bidirectional approach like uh, you know iterating or moving towards elements in both the directions we will see how it actually uh, works in java and uh, we are going to see why we do we need to use iterator basically we can use to read remove replace or add any elements in the list collections so when i say list collections whatever the under the list implemented classes let's say rls list, linked list we can use this list iterator and how to use list iterator we are going to see in this program 
and we are going to see how these two methods works as i said earlier so we can use this list iterator to actually move forward as well as in the backward direction in the collection so for that they have given some methods basically we can use you know to move forward we can say next and next index and for move backward like previous and previous index to check whether we have any next element we can say has next which is a boolean and also if to, if you want to check uh, the previous value exist or not then i can say use has previous of it is a boolean uh, method and then we have some methods like you know uh, to replace we can say set of object to replace the current object with the new object and we can use like add method to add a new object to the particular collection and also we can say remove method to uh, specially uh, remove that particular object from that collection we are going to see with the real time use case which is a student database i have already written this program to demonstrate you guys very quickly and easily so that you guys can easily understand so this program is very simple to understand so what i did is i have just written one um, array list student db is equal to new array list of inside that i have written one for loop basically i am adding uh, 10 student database starts from 0 to 9 and then i am just going to print it so i am going to execute this program so that i can explain from the output so that you guys can easily correlate what it actually does so um okay so here is the thing so first what i am trying to do is i am just adding some uh, objects into the array list after i add it what i am saying is enter student database right student 0 here if you guys see here student 0 to zero, uh, student 9 so that's what i added so now what i'm trying to do is i want to declare the list iterator so the way how i can declare the list iterator is nothing but list iterator is an interface as i said earlier if i mouse over here you can guys can see here list iterator is an interface it is since jdk 1.2 which actually extends iterator interface and it has all the methods whatever the iterator interface contains along with that it will have some additional methods so if you guys see here I have added list iterator li is equal to student db dot list iterator of so list iterator of is a method so basically you can use it to get the list iterator uh, object and then while li dot has next so i am getting the next element and then i am just trying to say if s dot equals of student 7 if i found student 7 i want to remove him so then li dot remove so this is like similar to the iterator whatever we have right we are using has next and then next method and then remove method which is very simple so if you guys see here the student 7 i am going to remove him so if you guys see here a database after removal if you see student 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and the seventh student is missing because we have removed it in the line number 51 right so this is a iterating into the forward direction now if i want to iterate only from particular location or for, from particular uh, element let's say i have millions of student database uh, but i don't want to iterate for the first uh, uh, thousand records then what I can do is I don't need to unnecessarily waste my you know uh, processor or program to execute to iterate to the first hundred records or thousand records right so for that I can give the index number here so what it will do is it will start from this index so uh, what I am doing is list iterator li1 is equal to student db dot list iterator of the number 3 so 3 means starts from 3 and then it is going to move forward because I have used has next and next method and then it is going to check it out if you guys see here this one it starts from student 3 till 9 all right that's what it is so that's how it actually works if uh, if the requirement is let's say you have millions of records but you don't want to iterate some of the records then you if you know what from where you have to um, iterate then you can simply uh, get that index number and you can start from there so this is the purpose of using list iterator of index and you can also see what is index we have and then if i want to go backwards so backward means let's say from one point if i want to go backwards if i want to get the previous element that also possible so here i am trying to do list iterator la2 is equal to student db dot list iterator of 3 so here what i am trying to do is before three third element whatever the elements i have i want to iterate it so for that we have a methods called has previous so has previous is going to return true only if there is a previous element and previous is a method in java basically it is going to return um, the previous element so in our here in our database here right so we have third element then second element we have first element we have student zero we have so before three we have student two student one student zero so when i am going to iterate here it is going to print all these three elements if you guys see here the students backwards from student three right so two one zero so that is what it is mean right so two one zero and we are printing all those and what is the previous index so previous index is nothing but minus one because we have already come to student 0 so the pointer is the cursor is at the student 0 and if i want to get the previous index it is nothing but minus 1 right 
now i am going to show you guys how to add the object into the list um, using the list iterator so i am just creating one link list uh, let's say country list in this i am just adding some country names let's say usa canada so what i am trying to do here is before i add anything like this is we have only usa and canada so country list before adding is nothing but usa canada this is what it is right and now i am trying to say this link list like country list dot list iterator of i am getting the list iterator and then i am going to add element called uh, india or next to canada so what i am trying to do is while li dot has next so cli dot next equals canada if the next element is equal to canada then i want to add india on that so then i can say if you guys see here you say canada and then india has been added if i want to add something like you know um if i want to set an object which means like you know i can use set method to replace a particular value so here i am creating another linked list tech list which is equal to new linked list of in this i am just adding elements called java python and then if i want to see whatever i has got added java and python but if i want to uh, replace uh, the java with c so what i am trying to do is i am going to iterate here and then dot next so now the pointer is in the java position right the zero here so the pointer is uh, the list iterator pointer is in the zeroth position which is java and there i am going to say chli dot set of c so c means c is a program right program language so after i replace it i can see here instead of java comma python i can able to see c comma python so this is how the set method works so guys basically we have seen um, the methods inside the list iterator how we can use all these methods so this is very very important whenever you go for any interview or any programming basically uh, you want to iterate some data and you want to uh, replace some value or add some objects in a particular position if they have the question like that so you guys have to think about list iterator if you can be able to use the list iterator or not so i hope you guys have understood this concept you can you guys can take a note of this program in your eclipse and try to um, write the same program in your eclipse and try to execute and uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or concerns and i will be more than happy to assist you guys so thanks for watching guys i will see you in the next interesting video thanks for watching bye bye i hope you guys have understood the concept very clearly but still if you guys have any questions or any clarifications required please post your comments in the comment section and i will be more than happy to assist keep watching all our videos there are a lot more videos to come and if you guys like this video please hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel and share with your friends don't forget to hit the bell icon thanks for watching i will see you in the next interesting video guys